we now have both our pencil box sides, our pencil box top, and the pencil box base finished. So now we're going to go up, click the drop down next to new, we're making a new assembly file. So we're going to put this all together. Okay, up towards the top we're going to click on place. Remember all the important things when you first start are in the top left corner. And we're going to place the base we're going to place the left and right side so we'll just click this twice, one for the left, one for the right and we're going to place the top right click and tell it OK. Now to assemble this we're going to have to uh, tell it what faces are touching what. So here we have a button called constraint and you have a make constraint which will take two faces have them uh, share the same plane and point towards each other. We have flush which takes two faces has them share the same plane point the same direction and it kind of shows a picture showing which is which here. We're going to start off with mate and I want this side to be sharing the same plane as this side and for them to be touching each other. I'm going to select apply and now I'm going to switch to flush so I want this face and this face to be sharing the same plane and pointing the same direction hit apply and now we need to rotate so we're going to select uh, well let's see here if we select this wheel it's going to follow our mouse and we should be able to orbit so hold down your left mouse button we're just going to rotate it up so we can see the bottom side of this and if you hold down your mouse wheel you can drag everything on your page if you roll your mouse wheel back and forth you can zoom in and zoom out. We're going to make the bottom of this side and the bottom of this box flush so make sure flush is selected and now it's showing you that they're sharing the same plane both faces are highlighted and they're pointing in the same direction the arrows are pointing the same way. Okay, We're going to do the same thing for the other side so I'm selecting my wheel again orbiting towards the back of this. I'm going to click and drag so I can see what's going on. I'm going to roll my wheel so I can zoom. I'm going to switch back to mate. I'm going to mate this face to this face. Apply. I'm going to make this flush between these two sides. Apply. Select my orbit tool again. Hold down the left mouse button. And move your mouse up and I'll rotate the whole piece. Exit when you're done. Make sure flush is selected. Select the face of the bottom and the bottom face of your side and select apply. I'm going to click the house button, the home button. It takes us back to our home view. And now I'm left with the lid. Now for the lid, I want uh, the side of this to match up with the inside of this uh, box. So that's actually a mate constraint. And I want that to be facing towards this. Select apply. I want, let's click on the home button so we can see what's going on. Right now this is inside the box which isn't physically possible. <laughs> so we're going to select flush. And this is actually flat up here so I want the top of this face to share the same plane as this.
apply. And now if I exit out of this, I should be able to just click and drag this over. If you notice the base and the lid are both moving, I'm going to fix that. So I'm going to right click and make this grounded, which means it cannot move. If I click and try and drag it, it will not be able to move. And it shows now a little pin that that's pinned in place. So anything attached to that will not move. Uh, this lid still can. That's not the way the lid is supposed to move. But for the purpose of this demonstration, this will be uh, more than adequate. So we're going to save this. And your old files don't show up because this is now an assembly file. If we wanted to double check and make sure they're all there, we could select all files but it would give you an error because we can't save this as an all file. But this is just showing you have your pencil box base, side, and top all in this folder. So we're in the right place. Switch back to assembly and call this pencil box. Save.